Hey there, this is Sherry with Freedom in a Can bringing you another installation video that's part of our Renogy One digital monitor series. Today's review is of the smart accessories that pair with these monitors to automate your solar powered RV or off grid home and make it more secure. In part one of this video, we will discuss what the accessories are and what they do. In part two, we'll show you how to install them, combine them, and program the smart scenes through the DC Home app so that they work with your monitor. And finally, in part three, we'll share a few frustrations that we've had with this process and our solutions for them. As Renogy Solar Ambassadors, we focus many of our videos on their products, and today's video is no exception. But if you have found this one without viewing one of our previous Renogy One Monitor videos, then stop here and watch those first. You can check out those videos on this channel. Just see the description below. Let's dive into these little devices. All of these smart accessories connect to either of the Renogy One monitors wirelessly, and they are so small that you can hold them in your hands. They are all sold separately, so you can buy just one or multiple of the same one if you'd like. So what do they do? Well, here's the door and window sensor. There's two pieces to this unit and they are magnetic. You mount one part to the door or window and the other to the frame. And when the door opens, they come apart and the unit will trigger an open status. Then you can program the smart accessories to do something when these little buggers are apart, like turn on lights or trigger an alarm or notification. We'll get into that later. This is the tiny motion sensor. It truly detects the slightest motion in its hemisphere. So you can base a program scene around that to secure your rig or simply turn on lights at night. The smart plug turns any AC outlet into a smart outlet so that you can control it remotely or on the unit itself or program it to come on under specific conditions or times of day. The temperature and humidity sensor helps you monitor the conditions in your rig remotely, but you can also program it to work with other smart devices or turn on a fan or a heater when the sensor reaches a specified temperature. All programmable to your own needs. The smart relay is a pretty cool device. This is an electronic switch that can work with either DC or AC appliances. You'll wire this up to turn on a circuit electronically which then allows various accessories to play together. The accessories can be used individually or combined to work together to help automate some things in your rig or off-grid home. There are almost endless scenarios and combinations that you could come up with, but here are just four quick scenarios. You can use the smart plug to activate an AC appliance at a specific time, just once or each day, whatever you prefer. We're going to use a string of lights to show you this, but this could easily be a coffee maker, heater, electric kettle, or even a crock pot. You can combine the door and window sensor with that smart plug to turn on lights when you come home. When the door opens, you can set the condition for the smart plug to turn on and voila, lights come on. If the smart plug is already on, no big deal, nothing happens. So you don't have to worry about it going on and off every single time that door opens. You can combine the door and window sensor with the motion sensor to create an alert when someone unexpectedly enters your rig. This can be an alarm or a notification to your phone or both. If you have multiple doors and windows, you can purchase one of these little gadgets for each door or window. And finally, you can combine the temperature sensor and the smart relay so that a ceiling vent fan will come on when the inside temperature of your rig gets too hot. Now this would be great for pet owners who can't always take their pups out on the trail with them. Hey, this is Hutch, the other part of Freedom in a Can. Adding accessories. First off, you have to make sure that you've installed the DC Home app on your phone and then it's paired via Bluetooth with the Renogy One monitor. How to do this is super easy. Just turn on the Renogy One and follow the on-screen instructions and you can see this in detail in our previous videos in the description below. Now the instructions in these little boxes all say to add the accessories using the DC Home app. But we found that it worked better if you just use the Renogy One monitor directly to add and then use the app to program the scenes themselves. This is how you're going to pair those accessories. Open up the accessory to remove the battery tab. 
Using a paper clip, click the reset button so that the smart accessory will enter the pairing mode. Some of them have a button on the side. Then select the middle icon on the home screen of the Renogy One. Click Add Device. When it recognizes the device, click Add. You'll see the smart screen accessory show up on the monitor. Then you can click on it to rename it, like call it front door or left window. This way you can connect as many of the same or different smart accessories as you want, and you'll know which one it is that it's connected to. Once you've named them on the Renogy One monitor, they will also show up on your DC Home app. I'm just going to go ahead and add the rest of all these devices. Just remember to be patient. It does take a minute or two for the monitor to find them in order to connect. If it doesn't find it after a couple of minutes, try resetting the device while the monitor is still searching. Okay, now all of the smart accessories are connected to the monitor. We can now get to the fun part and start programming some scenes. From the DC Home app, click on the icon labeled Scenes down at the bottom of the page. You'll see that there are three different menus for scenes, favorites, recommendations, and customs. With the different smart accessories now connected, Renogy has some prefab scenes already programmed. So you could just add one like this one, which is called Arrive Home. If we add this, you can see that when the motion sensor detects anything, it will turn on the smart plug. And if you've got lights plugged into it, they will come on. You can do the same thing with this other one labeled Access Security, but it uses the door and window sensor along with the smart plug. Now to remove any of these scenes you've added, you can just click on it and then hit Delete. So you can use those recommended scenes or you can program scenes directly. It's pretty easy once you get your head around the process. Let's look at the four scenarios that Sherry described in part one of this video. Using the smart plug, we're going to program the lights to come on at a specific time each day. So first hit the plus in the upper right hand corner of the screen, and this will create a new scene. Under when, we'll choose the condition of automatic and set the timer to come on every day at 5.30 p.m. This is done on a 24 hour clock, so I'm going to set it for 17.30. This way there's no AM or PM mix-ups. Then under the Do section, we'll select Smart Plug and ask it to turn on. We can give this scene a name and add it to our favorites and hit Save. We then see the scene coming up on the menu of the home screen on the app. And we'll also see it on the home screen of the Renogy One monitor. It's pretty cool, eh? And of course, you could create another scene that turns the lights off at a specific time. And just because you've set these scenes, it doesn't mean that it will interfere with your regular use. If you've already turned the lights on before 5.30, nothing will happen. The conditions are already met and the program just runs itself. Using the door and window sensor and the smart plug together, let's program how to turn the lights on when we open the door. So hit the plus button again, but this time under when, we're going to choose one of our devices instead of the timer. So click door sensor. We'll make sure it's on open and then hit done. Then under do, we're going to set it to turn on whatever it is connected to the smart plug. And then we'll call this scene door and lights. And now you can see the scene here on the app as well as on the Renogy One monitor. Hey Lucy, I'm home. This next one is more for security. We want to combine the door sensor with the motion sensor to do something other than just turn on an appliance. Hit the plus again. And when we look at when, we're going to choose door sensor is open. Now when you add a second condition here, it will ask you to choose between when all or some conditions are met. And in this case, we want the door sensor and the motion sensor to be triggered. So we'll choose when all conditions are met. Then we'll scroll down to the motion sensor and choose it. 
you'll see here that we've got two conditions. So nothing is going to happen unless the door opens and there's motion in the camper. Under do this time, we can choose from a whole bunch of different options and we're gonna choose them all. Number one, we're gonna choose an alarm that will go off on the Renji One. Two, we're gonna ask that a notification gets sent to the phone, but you gotta make sure that you've already allowed notifications in the app settings for the DC Home app on your phone. And three, we'll turn on some lights with the smart plug. When you've got a few of these scenes programmed, they appear on the home screen of both the app and the Renogy One monitor. And it seems easier to control them through the app, but you can control some of the functionality from the monitor directly as well. Now let's test this situation. So here's the temperature sensor and the smart relay. Now we've already wired this up to work with our fantastic vent fan on the roof of Hamlet. So we go back to the app, we choose another plus button to create another scene. Under when, we're gonna choose the temperature setting and then we're gonna set the parameter to say like when it gets over 75 degrees. Then under the do, we're gonna select smart relay so that it will turn on. We could also set up another scene to turn off the relay when it cools back down so that we could have the perfect temperature for the family pooch, adventure cat, or even ourselves when we return home from a long hike. This little guy is the wireless scene switch. It allows you to control three different scenes all from one physical switch without having to pull out the phone and open the app or mess with the core monitor. It has a function for a single press, a double press, or a long press. So each one of these can be programmed to do something different. Now it does take a little bit of practice to get the pressure and timing right, but once you have it added to the monitor, you can see if you're doing it correctly. So you can start to see that there are many possibilities here with these programmable scenes. So get creative and have fun with these gadgets. So these monitors and accessories are pretty new and definitely not intuitive for the non-techie type, but the Renogy engineers are constantly making them better with feedback from consumers. We have given them some ourselves. We've even experienced a little bit of frustration while trying to connect these devices and start programming. If you're not a tech whiz, don't worry. Put on your patient hat, Give yourself plenty of time and just go through these steps. First off, once you have paired the app with the monitor, try to keep the app connected to the monitor rather than trying to connect any of the BT modules or components directly. Just use the app as your screen. Second thing, if something gets funky and isn't working as expected, just reset the monitor and start over again. It's not a very long process and it gives you a completely clean slate. Number three, you can also update, uninstall and reinstall the app on your phone. The device remembers your account and all of your information will be available when you open up the app again. And finally, number four, the tiny little booklets that come with the smart accessories say to pair them by using the app, but we found that this didn't work and it's better to add them through the monitor and then use the app to program the individual scenes. So that's it for now, folks. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon with a review of the Renogy Smart Shunt, which is intended to connect AGM, gel, or non-smart LFP batteries, in addition to other brands, lithium iron phosphate batteries, with the Renogy One monitors, so you can get all of the same functionality without having to invest in brand new batteries. And this is the device that you've all been waiting for. It is finally here and available on the Renogy website. We'll see you on the road.